Welcome to Mysterious and Unsolved. Today we look at the quantum entanglement mystery. If you are interested in the mysteries of quantum physics, you may have heard of quantum entanglement. This is a phenomenon where two or more quantum particles or systems share a quantum state and remain connected even when separated by large distances. This means that measuring or manipulating one particle or system will instantly affect the other without any physical interaction or signal. This phenomenon seems to violate the principle of locality, which states that physical effects cannot propagate faster than the speed of light. Albert Einstein called it spooky action at a distance and argued that it implies that quantum mechanics is incomplete. However, many experiments have confirmed that quantum entanglement is real and some applications of it have been developed, such as quantum cryptography and quantum teleportation. How can this phenomenon be explained and reconciled with relativity? In this video, we will try to give you a brief overview of some of the possible explanations and interpretations of quantum entanglement, as well as some of the challenges and open questions that remain. We will not go into the technical details of the mathematics and experiments, but rather focus on the conceptual and philosophical aspects. I hope you will find this topic as fascinating and intriguing as we do. If you would like a video containing the technical details, let us know in the comments below. Now on with the video. One of the first attempts to explain quantum entanglement was made by Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen in 1935 in what is known as the EPR paradox. They proposed a thought experiment where two particles are prepared in a way that their quantum states are correlated, such as having opposite spins. Then, they are sent to two distant locations, where an observer measures the spin of one particle. According to quantum mechanics, this measurement will collapse the quantum state of both particles and determine the spin of the other particle instantaneously. However, according to relativity, nothing can travel faster than light, so how can the information about the measurement reach the other particle? The EPR argument was that there must be some hidden variables that determine the outcomes of the measurements beforehand and that quantum mechanics is incomplete because it does not account for them. Then, in 1964, John Bell showed that any hidden variable theory that satisfies certain assumptions, such as locality and realism, must obey certain inequalities that can be tested experimentally. These inequalities are known as Bell's inequalities, and they put an upper limit on how much correlation can exist between two distant measurements. In contrast, quantum mechanics predicts that these correlations can be higher than what Bell's inequalities allow, depending on the quantum state of the entangled particles. This means that if we perform an experiment where we measure the spins of two entangled particles in different directions, we can observe a violation of Bell's inequalities, which would rule out any local hidden variable theory. Such experiments have been performed since the 1970s, using various sources of entangled particles, such as photons, electrons, atoms, and molecules. The results have consistently shown violations of Bell's inequalities, confirming the predictions of quantum mechanics and rejecting any local hidden variable theory. This means that either quantum mechanics is complete and there are no hidden variables, or there are hidden variables, but they are non-local, meaning that they can influence distant events faster than light. One way to avoid this conclusion is to question some of the assumptions that underlie Bell's theorem, such as realism or free will. Realism is the idea that physical reality exists independently of observation and that quantum states represent objective properties of physical systems. Free will is the idea that observers can choose freely what measurements to perform on their systems. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics challenge these assumptions and propose alternative ways of understanding quantum entanglement. One such interpretation is called the Copenhagen interpretation, which was developed by Niels Bohr and his colleagues in the 1920s. According to this interpretation, quantum states do not represent objective properties of physical systems, but rather subjective knowledge of observers. Quantum states are not collapsed by physical measurements, but rather by human choices and observations. 
Quantum entanglement does not imply any non-local influence or communication between distant systems, but rather a holistic view of reality where physical systems are not separable from their environment and context. In this view, there is no paradox or contradiction between quantum mechanics and relativity, because there is no objective reality or causality to begin with. Another interpretation is called many worlds interpretation, which was proposed by Hugh Everett in 1957. According to this interpretation, quantum states represent objective properties of physical systems, but they do not collapse upon measurement. Instead, every possible outcome of a measurement occurs in a different branch of reality, creating a multiverse of parallel worlds. Quantum entanglement does not imply any non-local influence or communication between distant systems, but rather a splitting of reality into multiple copies where each system takes a different value. In this view, there is no paradox or contradiction between quantum mechanics and relativity because there is no single reality or history to begin with. There are many other interpretations of quantum mechanics that offer different perspectives on quantum entanglement, such as Bohmian mechanics, quantum Bayesianism, relational quantum mechanics, and more. Each interpretation has its own advantages and disadvantages, and none of them is universally accepted or proven. The question of which interpretation is correct or whether there is a unique correct interpretation is still an open and controversial one. Quantum entanglement is one of the most fascinating and mysterious phenomena in physics, and it challenges our common sense and intuition about reality. It also opens up new possibilities for technological applications, such as quantum computing, quantum communication, quantum metrology, and more. However, it also raises many philosophical and conceptual questions that are not easy to answer. How can we understand and explain this phenomenon? How can we reconcile it with relativity? How can we test and verify different interpretations of quantum mechanics? These are just some of the questions that scientists and philosophers are still working on, and that may lead to new discoveries and insights in the future. Thank you for watching. This brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Until next time, stay curious.